guys welcome back today we are going to make lamb shank with red wine with a little bit of twist so the ingredient what i have is i have chopped some celery carrot and onions and we need little bit of red double concentrate tomato puree red chilies anchovies one star anise chopped rosemary a bay leaf couple of cloves of garlic a very good bottle of red wine some worcestershire sauce beef stock seasoning and the star ingredient the lamb shank so the way i'm going to do it is first i'll sear the lamb shank and then i will remove it then i'll again add all the veggies and bit of the seasoning and spices and then roast them a little bit and then add the beef stock and take it from there so stay tuned so here you can see i have taken a deep casserole i've heated it it's smoking hot uh, put a little bit of sunflower oil and now i'm going to sear my lamb shank just to get a color and maintain the flavor in it i'm doing a single shank at a time uh, because they are kind of big one thing you need to remember is when you are searing it uh, leave it uh, in one stage for like 30 odd seconds and then flip it uh, don't be in a hurry to you know just move in the pan let it sear properly and sear it from all sides as you can see it is getting a golden brown color that's what we are looking for so i'll sear both the shank and then we'll come back right now you can see that the shanks are properly seared and there's tons of flavor left in the casserole so let's go ahead and add uh, anchovies don't worry guys you will never taste the flavor of anchovies it is just to do the added flavoring but you'll never taste the fishiness of anchovies Right now, I have added everything: all the veggies, the bay leaves, star anise, red chilies, rosemary, and all. So let this sear this and cook this. Cook for like a couple of minutes. After a couple of minutes, you can add the tomato puree and just a couple of tablespoons. One teaspoon of the soy sauce. and keep stirring and cooking for a couple of minutes add around 400 ml of uh, red wine to deglaze it with the same amount of stock we have got so uh, we are going to use it add the shanks and bring it to a boil so that will burn off the alcohol and only flavoring is left uh, nothing else is there we also are adding the stock at the same time always get a good quality stock because that enhances the flavor and now we'll bring this mixture to a boil everything is there with seasoning salt pepper and all so we'll bring it to the boil and then put it in the oven at 170 degrees uh, for roughly 3 hours and every hour we'll bring this out and then you know just paste it or move the shank around so as you can see that the whole thing is now properly boiling and bubbling away that means alcohol has gone we'll put the lid and then back it in the oven to 170 for 3 hours and once it is ready we will see how it looks hey guys i'm back it's almost 3 hours now so we have taken the casserole out of the oven uh, what i did after 1 hour was added a handful of sultana just to enhance the flavor now let's see what what what's in there Wow, it's a lot of steam. Okay, 
I'm going to remove the shanks and put it uh, to rest uh, while I reduce the gravy further. As you can see, the meat has started to fall off the bone. And that's a good sign. So these are the two shanks now. What I'll do, I'll cover it with uh, aluminum foil. Uh, this is a sauce. Uh, I don't like uh, bits and pieces in my sauce, so I'll remove the star anise, the bay leaf and all and give it a good whiz uh, in the blender and then I'll show you how it looks. Hey guys, so after blending the onion, celery and carrot and uh, the rest of the bits in the casserole, this is how the gravy looks like. I reduced it a bit more. Uh, now here you can see the lamb shank on the gravy. I have it on uh, some creamy mash. So I made mash uh, with a potato ricer, double cream and uh, a bit of a butter. And as you can see, the meat just comes off. So yeah guys, uh, thank you for watching the video. If you like this uh, particular clip, then please click on like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, cheers, bye.